The last 12 months have been, to say the least, a whirlwind for Atlanta United forward Pitti Martinez. To borrow a phrase, que loco que esta. Martinez famously arrived at Atlanta United on the back of his most glorious professional season that culminated with the Mendoza native securing his second Cobra Libertadores title in addition to being named El País's South American Player of the Year in 2018. But a new year in a new country and a new league offered a harsh dose of reality, one that wasn't Martinez's first time experiencing a slow start with a new club. Now revered as one of River Plate's all-time greats, it was there in Buenos Aires that Pitti struggled upon arrival, scoring only eight goals and 65 appearances across all competitions in his first two seasons. Despite much fanfare, Pitti's start with Major League Soccer's reigning champions Atlanta United began with a similarly slow start on the field coupled with off-field struggles. And it wasn't just Pitti. The arrival of Frank de Boer as Tata Martino's successor meant that Atlanta United's core of South American imports now heard a different voice in a different language with different ideas of how the team should play. It was a drastic change for all involved. With so many moving pieces, both in terms of personnel and tactics, Atlanta United and Pitti were unable to continue the massive highs that both the player and the club were on at the close of 2018 no doubt jarring for everyone from players to front office executives to its loyal legion of fans. De Boer's tenure began with an intention to solidify Atlanta's defense, which was often left exposed under Martino's uber attacking teams. The new mindset led to suitable enough results, but the style was not what fans or the players were accustomed to producing. The unrest culminated with a disgruntled Pitti Martinez airing his grievances to Fox Sports Argentina Radio. Pitti's interview was always going to be a turning point for the club in which it could go one of two directions. The manager and players could have had a complete falling out, and with the team skirting just above the playoff line, it's reasonable to think that the futures of Martinez, De Boer, and others were in doubt. But instead of a collapse, Atlanta United was reborn. Since the infamous interview, Atlanta took seven wins out of nine matches in all competitions, including a U.S. Open Cup semifinal win on the road against rivals Orlando City, and a statement win over Mexican champions Club America to win the 2019 Campeones Cup. But it's not just the record. The Five Stripes attacking flair is back, with Atlanta scoring 23 goals in the nine-game stretch. Despite the rocky start, Atlanta still has most of its targeted objectives ahead of them. The team finally looks like a bona fide contender to repeat as MLS Cup champions on top of other hardware they're securing this season. The team and El Piti are finding their form at just the right time.